Conservatives don't protest is because you don't need to. You hold the levers of power anyway. You own the police, you own the army, you own the media. Right? You don't need to protest. You get other people to do it for you. So they won't check it out. Crazy old socialists get wrecked by Charles Gag. I don't think you should call him crazy old though. He's old, so give me the respect. But guys, let's get straight into this. You all believe in limited government. I believe in limited government. I'm an anarchist. I believe in really limited government, right? But, but you, you, you touched, you you touched on... You said you socialist and anarchist. No. You can't be both. Let me finish, okay? So you said, you guys were touching on something a little bit earlier. You said, there is no conservative Antifa. There is, conservatives don't protest. I said that. Yeah, do you know why? Antifa. I'll tell you why. There's no conservative Antifa. Conservatives as a rule don't protest. Because money talks. And you don't want limited government, you want limited government for yourselves. You don't want limited government for the working people. I'll tell you why. Because, let me finish, let me finish, right? The reason, the reason there is no conservative Antifa, the reason that conservatives don't protest, is because you don't need to. You hold the levers of power anyway. You own the police, you own the army, you own the media, right? You don't need to protest, you get other people to do it for you. Wait, okay, so... As a, as a class, as a collective, conservatism, and the right wing rules, rules the media. It, own, it rules the police. Whoa, 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 stop. I know, this is, this is a little... There's so many... No, you, you've made a few, point. though. Well, let's, no, you've well, made a few here. talk about free speech. I'll be two more minutes. So you talk about limited... Minutes. No, 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 no. First minutes. off, saying, saying we rule the media, have you read a single article about Turning Point UK? Not have you read a single that. article about Turning Point UK? Because by, by, by that standards, you're ruling the media. If you've looked at anything that's been said about us before we got here, you're ruling the media. Secondly, yeah. this idea of trying to, this, I'm, I'm tired of this, this like lazy intellectual argument of like conservatives are all rich white people because that's what you're doing here when you say like you guys are the ruling elites. No, people, we, you're correct that we have jobs and we can't show up at 8 a.m. in the morning. No, 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 no. I know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to you. You're correct that we have jobs and we can't show up. You've heard me. I came from absolutely nothing. So I'm not going to let you do this little like, ooh, what was me workers part? That's my entire life. Okay. I am, I'm a conservative because I believe in hard work and I yeah. think it's lazy to stand outside and hold a sign. I think it's lazy, okay? So if, you're, if, if that's your excuse, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna get away with this with me, okay? You're not gonna bring conservatives as rich people that are in power and in control. You're talking to the wrong girl, okay? So come with an intellectual argument about why it is that conservatives don't riot and protest and, and incite violence in the middle of the street because the answer is not because they're rich and controlling the media. It's because we're better people. It's your ideology. Because the we have decency and standards. I, we have jobs. I'd like an opportunity to come back on this, if, if possible. I thought Candice raised some very good points, and I'd like the opportunity to come back on those points. So firstly, right, when I talk about conservatives, I'm not stereotyping them as rich white people. I'm talking about them as people that subscribe to an ideology. And that ideology is the ideology of the corporation and the rule of the corporations and the rule of the corporations and the rich over the poor. Whether you are rich or whether you are poor, you, you support you're just that wrong. ideology. You're just wrong. Now, let me just say one more thing. One more thing about you talking about how you came from nothing. Well, I congratulate you on that. Thanks. But there's a lot of people out there that didn't. This society leaves behind a lot of losers. I congratulate but, but you for being a winner, but how many heads did you step on themselves. together? Yeah. The point that I'm making is anybody can make something themselves in a free market society. That is why I am a conservative. It's not because I'm rich. It's not because I come from money. And you're, you're, what you're using right now is bad stereotypes to come up with. A, you're using bad stereotypes to come up with an unsound argument. Imagine if you spent. I want to raise my class. I want to raise my people. I don't want to raise myself. I want to raise my people. Let me tell you something. You want to raise what? I talk to all you Tories in here. Every single one of you. I work, I work, I'm a working class man. Right, let me tell you, let me tell you something, right? These are the hands, these are the hands, these are the hands, these are the hands, these are the hands that make the things that you enjoy. These Don't put your hands in someone's face. These hands are running for your progress soon because we are winning, you are losing. These are the hands, bro. These are the hands. Typical leftist violence. I come from less than you. You're not noble. You're not giving some speech that's going to be remembered for the next 10 years, okay? You sound pathetic and like you need to get a job.
I don't know, like, it's like the weirdest thing that you're doing right now. What do you think you are, like Martin Luther King, and we're all going to look back and go, oh my God, thank God for that speech. These hands are going to come. You sound violent, you sound unhinged, and you sound like you're disproportionately angry at conservatives because we don't riot and, vi and incite violence in the middle of the street. You sound ridiculous. You just said you're going to put your hands around his throat. What sort of example are you leading for the people in your community? What, what, are, you, what are you doing? Because the, the truth is, let me tell you what leftists are. You're envious of people that work harder than you. That's all you're doing right now. You're being envious, and socialism is the creed of envy and greed. Whoa. Guys, this, 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 no, nah, that rice for calling him crazy, though. But, like, this, this was wild. I honestly believe in hard work. I honestly believe that you shouldn't take what does not belong to you. I believe that you should work for what you feel like you deserve. Like, I really believe that I work more than I earn and it's heartbreaking sometimes. I tear up, but like, it doesn't mean I have to stop working. I can't stop working. I need to work to the point where I, I start getting what I deserve. And I believe that you being a conservative, like you, you believe that you have to work, like you believe in hard work. And this is what I believe in too. And I believe some leftists also believe in hard work. But like him saying things like this, him acting like this, bro, like more like things are not going his way and I want to like just flame up. Like, no, you don't do things like that. Like, see, he's old enough to be macho and I really didn't expect something like this from someone that old. Like he looked, this is why some people say age does not guarantee maturity. Like you... Like, you really need to think about it in a lot of ways, see how it's going to impact you a few hours from now or a few years from now before you actually do things. Like, him saying this kind of thing, acting like this, removing his cup, and, like, bro, this, this, this was amazing. Like, this was shocking for me. Like, I was, I didn't believe that this kind of thing can come out from him. But uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Like, I really want to read your thoughts. What do you think about this? Guys, just to like, share, subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time, guys. Best.